All right, guys. So here's what happened. Got my Delta II in uh, Friday, I believe it was, and um, been vape on it for a couple of days. I gave it to my wife this morning to let her try it out and use it on her mech mod. Uh, accidentally stuck the button on the mech mod, burned the coil out. Now I don't have the RBA section for this yet, and luckily it does come with a spare coil head. Uh, but ever since I heard about this thing, and ever since I've had it, I have been dying to tear this thing apart and find out if it can be rebuilt. I've seen one video on how it comes apart. Um, it says it's kind of a pain in the ass, but we're going to try it. And we are going to put a new coil in this thing, find out what kind of wicking material is actually in here, put it back in our Joytech Delta II, and vape on it. That is the goal. So, let's see what it takes to get this thing apart. Now, I know, um, like a lot of the bottom coil version tanks, pretty much it starts with this pin right here. We're going to pull out. Take this insulator out. Which I just broke. No big deal, though. It should still be fine. Okay. Now, this section here comes apart from this section here. And the way I did it, because I've already had this apart, and when I found out how easy it is to take apart, I threw a coil in it. I've already vaped on it. I know it works. That's why I'm doing a video. But I had to share it with you guys because this has been driving me nuts to rebuild this thing. So, it started out like this. I took just a pair of pliers, had a hold of one end of it, took just a little hammer and I just tapped it and I mean I gave it a good good little tap but popped right apart just like that there's your top cap Oops. dropping stuff back in here which is not cool all right anyway here is your wicking material your coil your uh, adjustable juice flow control which just slides right off and then what happens is this stainless steel mesh ring has a little groove that your canthal slides into that's what holds the negative leg of your coil so when it goes back together I'll show you how that kind of works out and how this all goes goes uh, goes together here so let's go back to the coil part and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it out of the top we're going to see what kind of wicking material we have in here and I have heard yes that it has ceramic wicking material like the Atlantis um, to tell you the truth I mean there is a uh, right up against the coil itself when I took it out there was this fibrous material um, let's see if you can kind of see this or not but it kind of almost looks like a silica like a silica kind of wick um, it's possible that it is ceramic but I honestly don't know now this wrapping that's on here it does kind of have a cottony feel almost like a gauze uh, effect to it um, but whatever the case may be that is not what I'm gonna be putting back in here now, what I built for it, just to try it and see if I could do it, was a parallel 24 gauge single vertical coil for it. And it does work, but the resistance on it is way too low for this tank. Um, there's a reason why they come out with 0.5 ohm. It does have great airflow, but honestly, it just does not have the airflow to keep up with a 0.19 ohm or 0.2 ohm coil which I kind of figured but had to try it that's just me so we're gonna chuck that coil we're gonna build a new one and we are going to build a new one with some 24 gauge canthal we're just gonna make a regular macro coil nothing too fancy but something that works now something else uh, I need to tell you is on the original coil um, what I had found was it is a 
It was made with a um, what looked like non-resistance wire that you could see had been spot soldered to it. Oops, I hate when that happens. Can't those on binding on me here. Anyway, okay. But you could see where they had uh, soldered some non-resistance wire to the coil. Um, which actually I've got the coil right here. This is the stock coil. Let me get you focused in on here. And you can kind of see, maybe, right here. That little bump looking thing is where they um, soldered it. And the one for this wire is right there. But that's your stock coil that comes in there. It looks like it's just a six rep, 24 gauge canthal with your non-resistance uh, non-resistance wire. So we're not going to stray too far from that. Um, I'm going to use a 564th screwdriver here, and I'm just going to make a standard coil. Um, I thought about doing a nice tight wrap coil but I don't think we need to on this one I think honestly just doing a regular old six wrap standard coil is going to be just perfect so there's two three I'm going to try to keep them evenly spaced four five and six now we're just going to give it kind of a little push just to try to even out the coil spacing. There you go. Can't get much better than that right there. So, now what we're going to do is this leg here. Sorry, let me. This leg right here. We're going to put our fingernail right there and just kind of hold it nice and tight and make a straight 90 degree bend. Like so. And then this one, we're going to just take and push right up against the screwdriver making another 90 degree bend straight up so should look something like that whenever you're done now what I was gonna do is take some uh, organic cotton wrap it around the coil and then slide it down in there honestly I think probably easier yet is gonna be just go ahead and install the coil and then pack it in the cotton um, and try just to do it loosely enough that you don't lose your airflow, um, but enough to where it absorbs the juice. So, we're going to take our base, and I know my leads are kind of long, but hey, whatever. I'm going to slide this down inside here like so. doesn't have to be perfect just yet. We're just getting it kind of positioned inside the, inside the uh, coil head. Sorry about the shine, the glare. Uh, about halfway, right in the middle, is where I'm going to put this coil. I'm not, I don't want it down real far, and I don't want it sticking up. So right in the middle, we're just going to kind of keep it there, held in place. We're going to take our insulator, slide it over the positive lead. And then you'll notice that on this pin, there's a flat side. And you'll see that the factory coil, the leg sits right alongside of that. So we are not going to differ from that. Slide this back inside here. Like so. There's your positive lead. And we're just going to clip that just even with the bottom. Reason being is we can still pull that coil up a little bit if we need to. And we still got some adjustability in it. And this, I don't quite like how it's that sticking looks better there. Okay. Next step, we're going to take our stainless steel mesh cap, and it's got this little step down that press fits right up against there but see how that coil is trying to go off to the side we're gonna to have to do some bending there too so we can get rid of this <clears throat> we're just gonna take this 
You just do a little manual bending. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to go something like that. And then let's get our cotton. Alright, so we've got our oops, stuff knocked over. No. Got our organic cotton. And what I'm going to try to do is lightly pack this down and around the quill. So I'm just going to take a little bit at a time. If I can keep from throwing my quill around. Because the biggest thing is I don't, I want to make sure this quill stays centered. That's the biggest goal. The next biggest goal would be finding my tweezers. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so let's see how we're going to do this. this down in the side nice and easy actually that's going in pretty decent so now all we gotta do is just kind of tuck some in this back side here just a little bit it's not gonna take much that's gonna work out perfect I think I hope I should say Every time I say I think, something bad always happens. Just ask my wife. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to leave that airway open. Yeah, my battery's going dead on my phone. So, there goes my camera light. So let me see if we can make do with this for now. Because we're almost done. Almost done. Okay, so like I was saying before, this ring is going to hold our negative lead in place. So what we're going to do is just going to send it over here. Let me try to get this cotton back down in here a little bit. It's kind of trying to make its way up. That ain't going to work. So there we go. Down there. <clears throat> anyway, the ring. Kind of get it in place here. Push this down. Until you feel it kind of pop in or press in. Now, you see our coil. <clears throat> we need to get that back in the center. There we go. Okay. Centered. Now, <clears throat> flip this off even. That's the hard part done. Put your juice flow control back on, just slides over like so. And then this top cap <clears throat> just presses onto the rest of the coil. And if you find it's uneven, what I did was just took my original pair of pliers and just kind of, not on the threads, just on that little lip down here you'll see, just kind of go around it, give it a nice gentle squeeze, pulls it down nice and even, juice flow control doing what it do. Coil sitting down inside there. Let's see if I can get a little better view on that. <clears throat> there we go. So let us put this back into our Delta 2 <clears throat> and see what we get. Let me knock it over again real quick. Stuff out 
boy. All right. So here is the stock foil head, the replacement that I put on there earlier. And here's the one we just rebuilt. Let's juice her up. Let me change my camera angle here a little bit. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys, about all the... <clears throat> but I have been sick. Still sick. My whole family's got it. And it just seems to keep going around. It will not go away. All right. So, let's juice up our cotton like normal. Even if this was just a standard coil head, same thing. Got to get it nice and juiced up. Point six ohms. Look at that. Alright. Let's take her for a test drive. Test vape. Whatever you want to call it. Let's just vape on this. Take you out to... Alright guys. The other screen here. Delta 2 from Joytech. Replaced the coil head. Not with the RBA. But with their factory coil head. And the only thing we did was took it apart. I built just a plain old simple six wrap 24 gauge Canthal standard coil. And she's saying 0.6 ohms, 40 watts, 4.9 volts. Let's see how she does. I think I closed something off. All that build up, and this is what happens. Try this again. Knocked it down 0.5 ohms. Let's see. Wow. Wow. Not bad. I mean, it's um, 0.6 ohms. Turned it down to 38 watts. Uh, it's giving me about 4.8 volts. Hmm. It's a little tight. It draws a little tight, which that's got to be my wicking, so... I have to mess around with the wicking a little bit, but flavors right there. Um, as far as answering the question, can these coil heads be rebuilt? Yes, they can. And I've been asking that question since I got this thing, since I saw this thing, since I heard about this thing. Actually, since the Aspire Atlantis came out, I was wondering how that coil head would be rebuilt, and this is this has the same type. Of coil system as the Aspire Atlantis does so um, whether it's exactly the same I don't know but I do know it can be done and um, it really isn't that hard um, the hardest part <clears throat> for me was especially the first coil I built was a parallel coil so having the two wires trying to go in that one little notch that's on that ring with the stainless steel mesh um, once I kind of opened that notch up a little bit, wires fit perfect, and still was able to hold my single piece of canthal in just fine um, without being loose or anything like that, so it's still making that complete circuit. Like I said, it's firing between 0.5 ohm, 0.6 ohm, 
Um, I think it's probably like 0.59 ohm, 0 0.60, somewhere around there. But it's a little higher um, resistance than what it was factory. But again, I don't have the non-resistance um, pieces on my wire. It's just one piece of canthal. But yeah, definitely a pain in the ass to do, but can be done. I would definitely say get the RBA for 13 bucks. It should have came with it, but it didn't. It is what it is. So if you'd like to rebuild it, you can. But uh, guys, any questions, comment below, and I will definitely get to them. Otherwise, uh, good luck and enjoy.